play fog music in the background. Gotta start off with light the candle. This is my intro. Oh, it exploded and we are done. Don't forget to zoom. You gotta see what type of candle I have because it's fog. dog well we're back and it's monday which means a whole lot of a whole lot a whole lot of it's been a little bit since i did a day in life but mostly because i'm busy work is crazy freaking busy okay that's just too much going on but it's monday and i have a little bit of time it's 10 o'clock so i had time to kind of get everything situated i don't have anything on my schedule today so oh, let's try this recording stuff again oh, fudge. it's cloudy it's gloomy outside it's gonna be raining all week. so my lighting on here is gonna be wonky so there's two three there's three things i have to do today I don't have anything on my calendar. Let me check to see. Um, but I don't see any outages either. But let me check the monitoring system to see. I have too many damn windows open. I got no outages on our monitoring system. So really good. We're looking at some latency on some circuits. One of our locations had a couple spikes, but it looks like it evened out. Wow registering at 861 milliseconds Jesus Christ that's pretty much down if you don't really know but it seemed to even out and it went back down so I don't know what happened during that spike but if it's not currently going on you can't really troubleshoot it what I am doing anyone who has worked in an enterprise style environment you know how big and how many locations that you are in charge of and having to audit every single one of those locations individually is a pain. explain some a lot of people um, networking in general different positions require different requirements <laughs> different job duties and essentially hold on. essentially everybody's business has a different mission what I do most likely would not be something that most people do when people think of networking they think of I'm working on equipment all day I'm in a data center or I'm this you know plugging in stuff creating cabling putting things in the racks, you know, and that's, and that's true. It's very true, but that is typically only jobs that require you to work in the data center. My company has a data center. It's not really a data center. <laughs> it's just not, <laughs> but we have a couple racks of equipment. And that's pretty much it. Mostly every single position I've worked at, you know, once it's all set up, you just work remote. <laughs> you remote into all your equipment, any changes, any configurations, any troubleshooting, any anything you just remote in. There's no real reason unless something happens to physically go to where your equipment is. Unless you need to add something new, if something breaks, something needs to be replaced, um, anything like that, then yeah, you'll go out there. I want people to, I want, I want to show, tell people exactly how realistic it is. Majority of my time, practically 90% of my time, literally 90% of my time is dealt with working my projects. I guess you need to, but I'm at it. Anyways, 
what I say? Cause she rudely interrupted me. But 90% of my day literally involves just working projects. I do a lot of admin work, no lie. Um, working these spreadsheets, working any previously old down circuits that we had, migrations, upgrades, shipping out equipment, RMA equipment that's broken. It's just, just that's meetings on meetings on meetings. And the only time I really get to do any of the nitty gritty stuff is if something breaks and something goes down. But if it's not going down, what am I supposed to do? Just mess with something? Don't don't touch nothing if it ain't broke. I mean, we have tickets. I have tickets that I could be working. Honestly, tickets that I should be working. That's, that's what I do, okay? And per, mostly every single job, I mean, you'll get like some positions are more break fix. So if that's something that you really want, you need to think about, do you want more of a break fix position where all you're working on is tickets and all you're working on is outages. So you don't necessarily need to make too many changes or you don't necessarily need to plan or document or design or, um, you know, good 10 meetings or, you know, anything like that. And if you want to actually get to the like, oh, I need to build my troubleshooting skills. I just want to work on outages all the time. Pay attention to the position that it, when you're looking at job descriptions, what it is that they, they want you to do. If it is a break fix style work environment, that is something that you will be doing. More tickets, more fixing people's issues that are coming about. You know, you, if it's broken, you fix it any type of changes that need to be done, anything that needs to be added, anything just like that, that's not really something you would need to be dealing with. You send it up to the next team, the, the appropriate team or the next level up, it doesn't matter. Um, I just need y'all to understand that there is different, there's different levels to this. So my job, typically, you know, you'll get like a tiered environment, you know, tiered one, tier two, tier three, whatever. So we have a help desk. If I don't know because we're not really tiered i'm not we're not like tiered but if if we were tiered we have our help desk which is essentially our tier one we have what two people maybe one or two people that are considered tier two um and then from that point on if like if the, those two can't do anything about it uh to fix the issue then it gets sent up to us so i guess you would think of us as tier three the other people they can't make changes they can't um, they don't have access to certain GUIs and stuff to kind of go more in depth on our equipment. So if anything that needs to be more in depth done, anything that needs to be changed, anything that needs to be added, anything, they, it gets sent to us. So I guess you would count me as more of a tier three position in my company, uh, but we're not really a tier. But let me just, that's it. That's all I just wanted to say. Keep in mind. This is this is the truth. This is this is what if this is what you want to do, you need to be mindful of the positions that you're applying for and the positions that you want. I've worked break fix positions and I hate it. Okay, it's not my thing. Yeah, it taught me how to troubleshoot and it gave me so many skills, and I'm not knock knocking it, but that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, in order for me to grow as an engineer, and in order for me to move on up and increase my skills, I needed to take a step back and think like, do I continuously want to stay on this path or do I want something more? I have so much responsibility here. I am in charge of so much in my position in my company. I, I'm in charge of this audit. I'm in charge of um, these circuit migrations that we have going on. I'm in charge of fixing this whole Wi-Fi uh, issue that's going on and, and implementing and upgrading and stuff like that. That's me, these are my babies, okay? I, I, I'm primary and I would have never have gotten this type of opportunity if I would have stayed stagnant into any of my older previous positions. So keep that in mind. So in the process of this audit I'm doing, you know, I have to go shop by shop and see what's down. So I actually ran into a shop that's their internet. Oh, I don't know if they got broad. Okay, their broadband circuit is down. And right now they're only running on their credit point. So the credit point is really not that it's slow, okay? It's really slow. If you think about it, this is basically a backup for the backup. And in some places it is the backup. Um, but when you have a cradle point, you're kind of just running off of what you would think 4G, 4G cellular speeds, if you want to put it that way. Depending, And this is depending on the provider, the phone provider, and depending on the location at where um, it's located. Other, maybe more remote places don't, 
it just ain't that good <laughs> but uh during this audit I see it um i see it down so i'm actually going to troubleshoot why their circuit is down and that they're up on just a cradle point because i know that this location is miserable right now so this is just called being proactive so this is what so this is what i'm seeing um you know the status is just down and this is their circuit and then this is them running on the cradle point so this is just kind of tells me it's really simple so i'm just going to work on that y'all enjoyed this video i hope you got some insight as to what it really is working and if it's different for everybody okay i can't it's not one shoe fits all not one path to get to do another it's just <laughs> every job has different job requirements and job duties so hope to see y'all back for the next one peace